Okay, here we go. We've got our pole and our antenna up there now. No collector on the end yet. Let's just see what kind of voltage we get. Uh, I will be hooking that right now. It's just clipped on the table. I will be hooking it onto the circuit right here. Right there. This is our circuit. Okay, and the ground is going to connect right here. It's that other red wire. And I have that ground rod about, eh, probably about 10 inches deep if I'm lucky. And that is just a steel, mild steel, 1018. Uh, it's not copper or zinc or anything, it's just a regular steel. I already cleaned it up and got the rust off of it. So that's not the best ground to use, but we're just having a simple setup here and we got our meter and everything ready here. So let me uh, set the camera down, I'll stop this and I'll hook up the circuit and let's see what we get. Okay, we got our ground and our antenna. hooked up. Our poor little circuit is being stretched over here. It's suspended in midair. And I got my meter probes here. And our meter here. Uh, DC volts. Okay, ready. Let's see. Two and a quarter volts. Three. Okay. All right, no problem now. Now let's add our collector and we could still add our coil and I got some other ideas to raise the voltage yet. And okay, so yep, there it is again. There it is. Seven. Is it going up a little bit now? Two point. We could say 2.3. There we go. That's fluctuating up and down now. Say 2.3 volts. Okay, now let's finally try adding our collector on top and see what happens. 2.3 volts. Oh, and uh, let's mention here that our antenna is almost exactly 30 feet long. And that's including that alligator clip. And I put a good uh, solder here. I soldered it together. And the height is 14 feet almost exactly. So 14 feet high, 30 feet length. And okay, let's try the collector. <laughs> 